Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need, and today we're going to be doing um, this right here. This is basically just an opacity map. So that way, if you guys want to create leaves or whatever, uh, you can. Now, as you can see, I left this white border around it, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but as you can see, it looks just like a plane. I can render it from both sides, and either way, you're going to get the uh, leaf. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I did this, and I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, use it. Okay, so first of all, find yourself a picture of some leaves. In my case, I got this one from uh, MissouriPlants.com. These are just a couple of leaves here. Now, this is nice because it gives you two different kinds of leaves, and then you can kind of mix and match, put one over the other, one behind the other, whatever. Alright, so just save this and open it up your favorite photo editing software. Okay, so I have GIMP opened up here, which is my uh, photo editing software of choice. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just fill this all with black. And this will do this. Um, uh, you're going to want to cover up all these, all the white spaces around here, everywhere. Uh, if you're actually creating your... Uh, now, if you're like me and just doing this just quickly, um, then it doesn't really matter if you get everything. Just try to get most of it. Um, no, I'm not even going to try to get most of it. I'm just going to cover up this stuff right here because that will annoy me after rendering. Okay, so once you have all that blackened out, we're going to pretend that I have all this blackened out. You're going to select your leaf. Here, just select all the way around. and It's a lot easier if you use... Uh, the lasso tool and use the points, but um, if you don't have a lasso tool in whatever uh, photo editing software that you're using, then I suggest you get a different one, <laughs> because uh, any uh, photo editing software worth its salt is going to have one of these tools, which uh, makes everything a little bit easier for us. Alright, so that's all whited out here. Alright, and now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So just clicks. Um, now I'm doing this pretty quickly, so it might going to look a little bit more choppy than yours probably will. But that's okay. Um, not all leaves are the same anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So once you get this done, um, there, there, there are also other ways to do this. You can also use uh, alphas to just give you the uh, complete a total white of this. Alright, so once you're done with all that and you've got your two opacity um, maps here, you can, if there's any like green areas from the leaves, you can fill those in with white. Just like this. Okay. Okay, now you're going to save this as, and then we're going to use opacity.jpg, or in my case, jpg. I'll put it at 100% quality so that you don't lose any quality when you uh, add it. So now you should just have a, it doesn't matter what size your plane is really, just go ahead and apply a material to a plane. If you don't know how to do that, just click M on your keyboard, select apply, which is this little button right here. Select the, the checkbox by the diffuse, select bitmap, and now we're going to start with the diffuse, which is uh, Florida flowers or something like that. So. Let's see, we'll come down, Cornice, Florida, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so once that's added, go ahead and select the checker box, and that'll give you the uh, this right here. Go ahead and select two sided, so that way if you come to this side, you can see it as well. Select maps, alright, and let's see, opacity, select none, select bitmap, and now we're going to use our opacity map, which is just opacity.jp. Alright, and now when we render this out, it doesn't matter what your background color is, so let's uh, change it to red. Okay, I rendered it out really quickly. You're going to just see the leaves here. Now again, if I come to this side, voila, see if the leaves on both sides. And you're going to notice the white areas around here, so I'll just go ahead and I'll just, uh, I'm going to zoom in on the uh, leaves really quickly. Okay, this is nice and zoomed in on. Uh, you're gonna notice that you got this area right here. Now this is actually area that should be blacked out because everything that's blacked out is 
um, see through. So these are the areas that should be blacked out. Now the easiest way to do this is to use your, when you select the leaf with your lasso, uh, you're going to not finish it right away, you're going to select the areas around it, and then you're just going to fill those in with black because it's really the easiest way to do it. Um, but there are also other ways that you can do it. So if you find a way that's better for you, then go ahead and do it. Otherwise, you can just use a uh, paintbrush or a pencil. All right, well, that's the end of this video tutorial. Hope you guys learned a little bit about a little something about uh, how to create some opacity maps uh, and give them back. All right, I hope to see you guys in my next videos. I've got two more coming out this week. Uh, I've got South Park character as well as um, a web layout and give. All right, see you guys there.